It's just after dawn in a slum called Ryer's Bazaar on the western edge of Dhaka, and Mukta Begum is raising the shutters on the neighborhood convenience store. Yeah! In an hour, her husband Abdul Azad takes over. Since the couple opened the stall last year, Azad works shifts that would give any 7-Eleven a run for its money. He sells snacks, tea, and tobacco until midnight each day. Much of it goes to truck drivers and rickshaw pullers, but that's not the only way Azad and millions of other small entrepreneurs keep this city moving. Here in the world's fastest growing megacity, nearly four out of every five working people have jobs like Azad's, cash only and off the books. He says he first came here in 2001 for a simple reason. Azad used to earn about $20 per month pulling a rickshaw in a village a few hours south of here. He says running this store has doubled his income. The money he makes pays his rent, feeds his family, and buys comforts, keeping that cash circulating in Dhaka's economy. The huge informal web of goods and services you find in megacities like Dhaka is often called the rickshaw economy, named for the unlicensed, cash-only pedal taxis that rule the streets. But rickshaws aren't the half of it. Street, every alleyway, every corner in this city is teeming with shops, food stalls, tea stands, and they all basically operate off the grid. They don't pay taxes, they're not regulated, but they're the city's biggest employer. Almost 80% of employment is in informal economy. Without that, the economy of this country may not survive. Legitimizing this vast slum economy would mean compelling millions of vegetable sellers, shop owners, barbers to get licenses, pay taxes, and formalize working conditions. It's a gargantuan task. So far, the government and organizations like Mars have focused on what they see as the most urgent goals, like making sure children aren't the ones doing the work. The country uh, must do it, and do it now. Around 750,000 children age between 5 to 17 years old, uh, working in the informal economy. At the same time, that economy offers the best hope people like Abdul Azad have to keep their children in school and out of the workforce. At least in the near future, that probably means a job like this, a few rungs higher in the informal economy, but a slum business nonetheless. At 23 years old, Mohammed Lahajadeen runs what might be the busiest tailor shop in the Bishantek slum. Each month, the tailor earns about $72 in profit. That's almost 60% higher than the average national income. And he's using that money to learn yet another informal job. This is Eric German in Dhaka for Global Post.